Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm reading today for Leo Energy. I'm just shuffling around. Um, I'm reading today for Leo Energy for May. Um, so it's going to resonate if you have strong Leo in your chart. If you normally resonate with Leo Energy, you have strong Leo placements. Uh, maybe you are dealing with a Leo. Um, if Leo Energy seems like your vibe, it may resonate, it may not. Uh, what I would say is give this reading time. Uh, when I do uh, readings that kind of like projecting forward into the future, what I find personally is that they don't resonate at the time I do them, but I will return to the reading later in the month and oh my god, it will be spot on. <laughs> and, I, and I think, oh, I didn't even realise how that would apply to me until this moment. It's, it's like, it's always a bit of a shock. I'm like, wow, actually, I was trying to read that a certain way and it came out a really different way, but it was spot on. <laughs> It's so funny how that happens. So yeah, maybe return to it later in May and see how you're doing. The apples come out for you, which is funny because um, I've just done Cancer's reading and their last song was a Fiona Apple song. So apples could be particularly relevant. Uh, my dad was a Leo and he, uh, he made cider. So he went apple picking. So very resonant for me already. Um, so yeah, maybe you are dealing with kind of a, maybe a father figure, <laughs> maybe, especially if you kind of cancel Leo Cusp, because they had a few daddy issues going on in the reading, so I'm not calling anyone out, but um, yeah, <laughs> that could be something for someone. There is a very seductive energy around, um, it's, your energy to me, the way it's coming through feels really, really nice and a bit sexy, so it does feel a bit like, you know, somebody biting their lip and kind of batting their eyes at somebody, it feels flirty, um, and I kind of looked across uh, the street, um, and I can see right into my neighbour's window, and I kind of, kind of had a moment, because... Um, they must have some washing on a rack or something, but it looks like a Father Christmas suit. And I just had this feeling of like Father Christmas looking at me back through this window, um, which reminded me of an Instagram post I made where um, I used the song, uh, I, I posted a picture of um, someone had a hologram, like a Father Christmas hologram, and I kind of zoomed in on the window. And it reminded me of that from last Christmas, because it really does kind of, I'd show you, but it's it's kind of a bit too... I don't want to kind of show you my street. Um, but yeah, it's 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 just the way their clothes are hung up. It just looks like a Father Christmas suit. So the song that I used in that Instagram post was um, a song by Revenge Wife by, called Disco Christmas. Uh, and the line that's popping out to me is like the first line from the spoken part, which is, hey, I just wanted to say it'll all be okay. So I don't know if you're reassuring someone in a really kind of sexy way. I'm kind of getting like someone dressed up in a Santa suit, which in May is not the time of year for it. So maybe this is something you have done or something you will do. Like, I don't know how it's going to resonate, but I'm getting like, you know, like sexy Santa. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to say it'll all be okay. Um, I love Revenge Rice, so funny. It's um, very arty, uh, very arty and very fringe, which I love. Uh, she's a Libra, I don't know if that's re relevant to anyone. So, yeah, somebody, uh, I don't know if somebody's trying to seduce you and they're kind of like biting the lip and they're like, hey. You know, like it's like reassuring. You know, sometimes you just need reassuring. Sometimes you just need someone to hug you and tell you it's all going to be okay. Like, you know, you need that kind of like mummy figure or father figure to be like, everything's going to be fine. Like, listen, <laughs> I love you. Uh, so I don't know if there's somebody around you who's like resolving parent issues for you. It's like if you felt like you had an absent parent, maybe this person's kind of uh, coming in and and being what you needed from that parent figure, but also they're your lover. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I've stumbled into. It's one of those readings where I'm like, I just want to get ahead and pull the cards because the intuitive messages are kind of, what is this? What have I walked in on? Um, with the the song, the, uh, the, the performer being called Revenge Wife, I definitely feel like somebody could have walked in on something because uh, your next song is I'm So Into You by Taylor Parks where she's saying, hey, I know that you're already with someone who loves you, but hey, you drive me crazy. We, I know that we shouldn't probably do this, but I can't resist you. <laughs> you know, like, you've got a wife back home. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is. And again, I'm not predicting, if you're in a secure, loving relationship, I'm not saying that your partner's cheating on you or anything like that. Um, it's just something that could come up in some way in May for you. And again, maybe this is something to do with your own parents. It could be something in the past. It could be something, you know, one of your friends or your siblings or co-workers are dealing with. I don't know. I'm just going to move swiftly on. Uh, but then... <sighs> It just keeps going because the next song was Lover Should Have Come Over by Jeff Buckley. So, which is a gorgeous song. 
and I'm, I've paused it, I'm going to listen to it after this reading because I really, really like it. Uh, so you have the apple. Now, I'm sorry to say this to you, Leos, but with the apple came out, uh, as I was kind of like preparing the cards, the devil came out. <laughs> the devil and the apple, Leos, like, does that need any further explaining? Um, and then the death card came out. So apples can indicate a tempting offer. Um, it's it's an offer that is going to bring you knowledge uh, and it, it, I'm not saying it's going to be good or bad but you're going to be enlightened through this process so if you, there's definitely something tempting you with the devil showing up tempting little apple there you're going to have a bite of it is it going to be a poison apple are you going to be like Snow White and be like damn I really shouldn't have met that apple off that old lady I don't know <laughs> again I'm just kind of seeing what comes through here you've also got on the underlying you've got waterfall and ocean really interesting so a wa the waterfall card for me represents emotions and it's very powerful emotions and they are unstoppable it's an unstoppable force a waterfall I mean you can patch up a waterfall but it's going to flood the land right it's going to cause other issues um, but yeah, there's a lot of power. Power is making me think of Jeremy Clarkson, you know, more power. Um, yeah, some uh, power to the waterfall and it's a rush of emotions. It's a lot of emotions going in one direction. So it's almost like as soon as a barrier is removed, as soon as the blockage is removed, that those emotions are going to come in pouring forwards and there's no stopping them. So you could find that either you or somebody around you in May, uh, once those, it's like once the tears come, it's like a flood, you know, uh, and then the ocean. So um, there's something about this being natural, this being uh, it's like every, it's like because the waterfall, the water runs back to the ocean, doesn't it? So it's like it's and the ocean represents deep emotions. It can it's also turbulent. You know, there's a lot of. Uh, the I've got a lake card in this deck and the lake is a bit more like um, a pla like a placid lake you know it's calmer it's safer the ocean represents an adventure it's it's turbulent uh, you know there's things deep things to be discovered there so uh, interesting symbolism you've got going on in the underlying right I just kind of want to shake it off I want to be like Gemini and shake off this energy and be like play is going to play 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 hate is going to hate 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 and see what we get for you, Leos. Let me just tap in. I mean, I'm made, made, being made aware of, I've got um, a seed in my pocket. It's uh, a conquer seed. Uh, I don't know if that's relevant to anyone. I just kind of like, I'm seeing it in my pocket, in my mind's eye. They're showing, they're showing me the conquer in my pocket. Maybe I need to show you. I just carry it around. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a good look charm or something like that. It's become part of my little routine to have this conquer with me it's symbolic of potential right future potential like i was talking about in cancer's reading again if you're dealing with a cancer cancer or you're on the cusp it's it's potential energy it's like if you nurture the seed the more i carry it around the more i nurture it the more um energy i'm putting into that potential future it's kind of symbolic so take it or leave it yeah your energy's Your energy is very nice. Uh, you feel like the cat that's got the cream, which is funny because you're Leo, right? You feel really um, satisfied. <laughs> it's a nice energy. It's kind of warm. It's cozy. It's I just kind of want to stretch in it. You know, like you know, like when you wake up from a really good night's sleep and you stretch in your bed, and it just feels so good. Your energy is nice this month, Leos. Which is funny because sometimes you, I come into your readings and you're like paranoid <laughs> and kind of, uh, you know, you have a hard time of it. I say because Leos have, you know, you are the ego, right? You are representative of the ego. And that doesn't mean, you, you know, some Leos can be very overconfident. Uh, and, you know, especially if you feel like you're doing well, you're kind of like riding high. It's like that confidence, that charm, that self-assurance. But you're also, you'll feel like you're on a stage. You feel like people are watching you all the time. So, um, you know, if a hair is out of place, you, you're quite self-conscious about it. And that can actually lead to a lot of insecurities and self-confidence issues. So, um Okay, they're reminding me of something. So I was getting a storyline. I was toying with the idea of doing a reading on it and I didn't. I was getting a storyline about two people who were on a very parallel path. Um, so it was like um, they 
it was like peeling back an onion right there was a lot of layers to these two people but they were they were matching and they were kind of healing each other it kind of felt a bit twin flamey i don't want to kind of like throw that term around because i think people attach a lot to it but um it to me it seemed like these two people who were like soulmate energy right they were on a very very similar path and that doesn't mean they had to be together but they were they understood each other at a soul level and what was happening was on the surface um they were presented as quite arrogant uh very flirty very arrogant very um Kind of like the guy was coming through this kind of like Casanova energy, this player energy. Um, and it was almost the way that they presented it was coming from an insecurity deep within them that only they saw in each other, I want to say. And it was like, um, so this really charming, uh, like both quite attractive people, probably if they weren't physically attractive, they had a lot of charm, right? A lot of um seductive power to them and so but it was coming from a place of probably daddy and mummy issues right it was like um feeling they were looking they were searching for something they were searching for validation because um they needed to be loved right and they were searching for that unconditional love right that unconditional acceptance and so what had happened was that they crafted this very charming persona to get this attention it's very very kind of leo i don't know if people have like strong leo placements like leo lilith leo north node leo south node that kind of stuff um but it was um It was like they were always searching because they could never find it. Um, and then you peel back the layer and I don't know, it's kind of, there was, it was a really complex thing. You really had to kind of like go under and go under and go under and keep analysing the behaviours until you got to the root. That was kind of almost this page of cups energy of like, I just need to be loved. <laughs> I just need to be accepted, even the worst parts of me. Uh, but they were, they understood that in each other was the way it's coming through. Um, so I wonder if that's for your reading. Because like I say, I was going to do a reading on it, but I wasn't quite sure who the message was for or if I should do a reading on it. Sometimes I channel like TV shows and things, so I kind of held off on it. Okay, Leo... Venus placements. My dad had my dad had Leo Venus placement, and I checked. I I was looking up his uh, birth chart, um, and something that stood out to me was um, because Leo has this need for adoration. It's like Leo needs this validation through uh, people validating that they're good enough, right? People validating that they're attractive. People validating that they're um you know still hot that they still got it so there's this thing about people with v leo venus placements if this is you um or you're dealing with somebody like this um where um they really enjoyed that even if they were in a very committed relationship and leos are loyal right this is the thing about leos leos are they're big hearted and they tend to be loyal depending on the, the full chart but leo energy itself is a very uh is a very committed energy um and um but they because of that ego and because of the need for flattery and the need for validation they really enjoyed flirting with people and really enjoyed being flirted with right and it didn't mean that was going to go anywhere it just meant that they um they had that boost that they needed right it's like like they, they need that validation so it's like to have someone flirt with them it's like it, it gives them a boost to their ego and they will brag about it and they'll even brag about it to the partner if, if someone has Leo uh, Venus placement sometimes everybody's different um and um yeah it, but it doesn't mean anything it's, it's more of a like look I've still got it look how hot I am this person's flirting with me kind of thing rather than it being anything that they're gonna act on um I don't know why that's come up but it, it, it did Go the distance. So again, that kind of committed energy. Go the distance. It's a cheater. It's a cheater, guys. I like up. Oh. Milk and honey. Oh my god, yes. That is the energy. That's the energy. I love this card. Milk and honey. It's just it's just gorgeous and it's satisfying. And it's it just it's it's what you need, right? It's like what you need in that moment. The milk and honey card. I love it. It's just, I, I love really like milky sweet coffee. Uh, so it just, it's like the enjoyment, the pleasure of it. So in May, you've got 
this pleasure energy coming through. It could come through in so many different ways. It could just be eating a really good meal. Uh, it could be finding something in your life that just feels really... It's like a really warm hug when you feel cold is the way it's kind of coming through. And like, look, at this is so cold. So polar bears talk to me about perseverance, like going through something um, that's like a real trial, but it, you but you're built for it, right? So polar bears, are they've got all that extra fur and they've got all that blubber and it's like they're built for, they're built for resilience. They're built for that cold environment. So it feels like after a period where you've had to really persevere, this is kind of like nine of wands energy for me, uh, somebody comes in to give you a boost and it just feels like a warm hug on a cold day. And then go the distance. So yeah, these, these you've got this perseverance coming from both of these cards for me today. Go the distance. So um, complete it. Whatever it is that you need to complete, complete it. If this is work projects, complete the work projects. It's like get things squared away, right? Just whatever you said you're going to do, do it. And my dad was a terrible procrastinator. He's, you know, he'd promise family. He was quite a good handyman, right? He could do a lot of stuff around the house. So he's always promising family and friends, like, yeah, I'll come around and sort out that light for you. Uh, but he's, he was uh, a little bit... He procrastinated and he, um, he had very good intentions. He just wasn't the best at carrying out those commitments. Not because he was a bad person, just because he was... A little bit of a scattered brain so uh, it's funny i was talking to my auntie and we were both sort of saying like he said he was going to come around and do this and he said he's coming and my auntie's like you know what i've got an electrician now and it's it's easier when in, when the handyman is not family <laughs> um so i don't know if that again anything that comes through can be it's it's something for someone right uh yeah so the things that you promised commit to them and and complete them um get them squared away and then you're not worrying about them right you can kind of like you know take them off your checklist just it's not worried about that anymore right it frees up time rather than the time that you spend you know awake at night worrying about that thing that you still have to do because you put it off till tomorrow it's like just get it done um a leg up though so there's going to be people who are going to help you right if you need help ask for help don't like pride get in the way um you know if you need a little bit of help from your friends that's what they're there for and then it's leading you to this gorgeous milk and honey energy so yeah good reading over overall you don't have to do it alone i get by with a little help from my friends oh i get by with a little help from my friends could it be anybody i need somebody to love i'm gonna put that on your uh, song list a little help from my friends okay leo's energy for may please leo's energy for may that is strong energy i love the crow energy wolf representing family there um the crow the crow the crow protects the cosmic egg uh, in this deck for me this is kim kranz's um, animal spirit oracle um this is the crow represents um a mysticism uh messages from the other side um kind of high priestess energy it's like this knowing this kind of like almost spirit guide psychic intuition it's it's very powerful it's very magical um and it protects the golden egg or the the cosmic egg the cosmic egg is something that is in the it's in the ethers right it's it's not it hasn't been born yet here on earth it's it's potential energy that is that exists in spirit so it can talk about an idea that you have like a seed being planted in your brain um that hasn't manifested in reality yet it's like you haven't taken action on it yet but it's it's specific for you it's like it's um it's the way i read this card is like spirit is protecting something that is really really special and unique and it's meant for you and it's like spirits looking after this until it's time for you to birth this into the world it's making me think again of cancer's reading they have this thing about um death and rebirth and 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 someone coming back to life through um through being born again as a like, like as a baby so i uh, take that if you it resonates check out that reading if you're on the cusp um or if you're interested but yeah it's 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 i love this card 
feel like Spirit's got your back. Spirit's got your back in May. Okay. <laughs> Just like, what is your energy? Like, what is this? I'm getting kind of like goosebumps. Um... They're giving me a song. Hang on. It started coming through like, you know that, um, the best laid plans of my, mice and men. Um, start coming through like that a little bit. But then it, it's Nelly Furtado, all, all good things come to an end, right? All good things come to an end, come to an end. Why do all good things come to an end? Make sure you're finding time to be quiet and listen to your spirit guides. Pay attention to the signs this month. Something going on that's really subtle. Oh, something about your, your leg. Okay. So my front leg, um, the front of my leg, like my shin, on the right-hand side halfway down. So this could be, that could come up somehow. Okay, compliments from an admirer. You have this lover's energy chain, chain of events that will affect your life. That's funny because I've been getting this kind of like dominoes, like the dominoes are in effect. So uh, ages ago, Libra had this reading that was like, Libra sit there and look pretty. It's like they were showing me this kitten. My left ear is ringing, left for love. Um, so someone's talking about you uh, in a loving way. They're saying good things about you. Um, so they were showing me this kitten and it was surrounded by dominoes. And the universe was saying to Libras, uh, just sit there and don't move. We're lining things up around you. Don't move because you'll set everything off too soon. Um, and then I had this thing the other day. It was like the dominoes are in motion now. It's like the, the plans are... It was like this weird concertina energy of like a lot of stuff happening, like this knock on effect, like everything happening all at once because it was like the universe had aligned everything and then it was like the plans were in motion. So it's like you don't have to do anything, right? There's um, almost like a series of fortunate events kind of thing and compliments from an admirer. So a, you could get compliments from an admirer and it's going to set off a chain of events for you in May. Yeah, new opportunities, possibilities and paths opening up, recognition, reward for merit. I told you, people are saying good things about you. My left ear was ringing. Um, so because, so compliments from an admirer, it could be romantic. It doesn't have to be. I just feel like people are paying you compliments this month. It's like, just be careful about people telling you what you want to hear, right? Especially if you, if people can recognize in you that you that you need compliments that you're the sort of person um i'm getting capricorn energy as well capricorns are um there's like you compliment them it goes straight to the head like they the light up and um, they can't hide it um so it's like um just be careful if you are if I so I'm just i'm like holding my ear like i'm listening to to an earpiece i don't know if that's something for somebody like listening to um so I, I'm really in your energy. I'm sorry. I'm finding it hard to kind of come back, come back through. Um, be careful about people complimenting you and laying on the flattery because they know, because they can see how it works on you. So there's a manipulation there. Be careful about Libras. Uh, Libras are very charming. Um, um, I say that as a Libra. Um, It can be good and bad, um, you know, depending on the person, right? There's light and dark energy. It's like some people are, 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 you know, everything has a flip side. So some people, I can sometimes see in people that they need the compliments, right? That they need their ego stroking, that they, that that's something, you know, I can sometimes see in people that there's an insecurity and they need those they need somebody to tell them that they look good. They need someone to tell them that they're, um, you know, that their hair's on fleek. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Maybe that's something. And um, that they're, um, you know, that they're, they're, 
their, their new top looks really good on there. Like as a Libra, Libras are really good at paying compliments and I want to do that. I want to give people compliments. I want to tell, I want them to make them feel good about themselves, right? Um, and there are, when I compliment people, it's always very genuine. It's always like, no, I really do think that your eyebrows look great today. You know, it's like always very genuine. And I just want people to know, I want people to hear it, you know? And, um, but there are some people who are like, oh, I can, if I compliment this person, I'm going to get them to like me and then I'm going to get my own way. Just be careful of that. Just be careful of manipulation. This feels genuine though. It, it, do you know what's worrying me? It's because of this apple with the devil attached, right? Um, so it looks really good on the surface. And there is something good coming for you because all the all the cards are good, right? Milk and honey is good. The crow is protecting something for you. A leg up. Compliments from an admirer. New opportunities. Re reward and recognition for merit. It's like you are being valued here. You are being valued. Maybe you just, maybe you're worried. Maybe, maybe you've been played before. Maybe you've got your hopes up before. So you could be very cautious about this. bow hasn't come out there's one that says you are highly thought of so with reward and recognition for merit um this is going to depend these new possibilities opening up and this reward and recognition for merit is going to depend on what you were committed to right if you finish those projects so don't procrastinate in may it's like completing things in may um you know sh uh, completing the assignments right doing uh showing up and, and, and being good on your promises like all these things are going to matter because it's like the more you the more you commit the more you show up the more you fulfill those promises uh the more good things are going to come your way and the more possibilities are going to open up the more good things people are going to have to say about you it feels like a good one for like not just networking but it's like you want people to be like, yeah, Leo. Leo's the one that shows up. Leo's the one that gets the work done, right? Leo's the one that understands the assignment. And then a leg up. So there is going to be an opportunity for someone to come in and... It's like opening those doors for you. It's funny because Cancer was getting what's behind door number three. But you seem to be the one taking advantage of, of those opportunities or at least being presented with those opportunities um which is funny because you're coming through as i'm going to ask again i don't know if this is cancer feeling a bit left out i feel like gemini could have had this as well so someone else had a reading where it's like they were doing really well and everybody around them was kind of like a bit jealous and were feeling a bit left out but it's like gemini was just doing what they were doing like haters are gonna hate Leo's. Leo's for May. What is Leo's energy, please, for May? The magician. Oh my god. You you can you can take that dream. You can take that idea. You can take that concept. You can take that potential, right? And you can make it a reality right now. The magic's in your hands. You're in a very powerful position. This is a really good reading, Leo, so far. Um, I want to say because of good actions, because you've done the right things at the right time, or you're going to in May, uh, you're really making things happen here. People believe in you, I'm hearing. That came in sideways. People believe in you. Yeah, you've the power's in your hands this month. Like You can make your dreams real. love that so this is from the light seers deck any cards that come out from the light seers deck are going to be your energy anything that comes out from the muse tarot is going to be external energy i'm going to ask uh this is about the month of may now so we're going kind of like from the beginning to the end of may for you uh we're going to ask about the emotions the headspace your thoughts and the action space so what's what's physically showing up for you so emotionally for leo awakening Ooh, i'm going to put these cards back and we're going to go again uh yeah big energy really big energy this month leo's may's gonna be 
May's going to be what you make it. It's, it's in your hands. But that's external energy for you. All right, I'm going to just get all your cards. <laughs> just sticks in my face. Try not to use them as much anymore. I've heard that they're not very good for you. There you are. That's your energy. It's not your energy. Someone's showing up and matching your energy or making you feel, feel like what you should be feeling. Either someone's showing up and making you feel very empowered towards the end of the month. The, you really like that cat that got the cream or you're, you're meeting someone who's like equivalent energy. And it could be Sagittarius. Queen of Inspiration is typically Sagittarius for me. Oh my God, just stop, Jestic, no. <laughs> I might open a window for a sec, guys, hang on. Don't judge me for my scruffy top. I just threw a sweatshirt on over my uh, my shirt. Um, thoughts for Leo. Oh my God, that's one of your cards. The sun is another one of your cards. You you are you're absolutely a cat that's got the cream. Like this is just... <gasps> look at that as well. Success, reward, and recognition. Look at her arms on both of those. It's like your brain's cheering. <laughs> it's like your brain's like just something mentally for you is like really pleasing and that's your energy is like yeah oh my god look at all this fire oh you you are you're really hot right now <laughs> leo he's like you know zoolander oh that hansel he's so hot right now like oh they you know this is you you are feeling shut out you're feeling like the doors aren't open for you but they they are Oh, you're gonna have a creative idea. You got, you're getting out of a rut, I feel. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys, did you see what it was? I don't know if it's like you and another Leo or somebody else who has a lot of fire energy, maybe Sag. Like it's all fire. I'm gonna have to move that joystick. Just give me a sec, guys. Okay, Leo's. <laughs> wow. No wonder. No wonder you feel like the cat that's got the cream in May. Like, not now. I don't think you feel like that now. At the moment, I feel like they could be feeling at the moment, like, like towards the start of May, of like, I've been so committed to this. I've tried so hard here and I just need a break. I feel like all the doors are closed to me. I feel like, you know, everything's a struggle. I just feel like everybody else is getting the opportunities and I'm not. Um, but absolutely like those doors are opening. It's like, maybe it's not, maybe you don't see it yet. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like, uh, because it's, it's, <laughs> it's manifesting right it's not in the physical yet it's like in the it's in the potential energy it's coming in for you so it has the feeling of like um you just feel like you're not good enough you feel like you know your projects aren't being valued you feel like it's very creative it's very creative it's very ideas based this this spread is not necessarily hands-on or practical so you could be a creative rather than a uh, sustainer. Um, but you, I think if you, if you commit to the things that you're enthusiastic about, right, at the month, because it's a cat on this card, right? It's like, like look at all the cat energy. You've got this one here. Uh, where else did you have cats? Like the Queen of Inspiration has a cat. Like, like this leopard. A leopard doesn't change its spots, cheetah kind of thing. Um, like, and just all this fire and then this lion here as well. You know, I was saying you feel like the cat that's got the cream and then this card's come out. Um, you, f <sighs> Whatever, if you are a bit of a procrastinator, right? If you do have a tendency to kind of put things off because they're just not inspiring to you, they're really boring. Um, we're not all meant to be sustainers. Like I say this as somebody who has very little earth in the chart and some of those placements are challenge placements. Um, 
if you're the sort of person who's you, your chart is all fire you know or your chart my, like my son is his chart is all fire and water and he's like he's so beautiful and he's so creative and he's so uh he's got so many like emotions and passions he's all he's the little bundle of like dreams and feelings um but he's not the most practical person in the world where my eldest who is a fire and earth uh, and a little bit of air um you know my eldest like has ideas and commits to them like my eldest is like when they want something they've got that earth energy to kind of like manifest it and make it happen so um in a kind of work environment i think you want to gonna look for i think it's a good idea for you to look for um relationships that uh that complement you but not in a way where it's like if you surround yourself with other fire signs, which I can kind of see you doing, it's going to be a very, very creative, very inspiring, very enthusiastic, uplifting process. But maybe you're not not a lot's going to get done, right? It's kind of like if you get all air signs in the room. Air signs are all about ideas, not so much about taking action on them. So, um, or if you get earth signs in the room, the earth signs are like, stop talking about it. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just get started. So I feel like you kind of need... either take your own ideas and run with them right like use that passion use that drive it sort of makes me think of when I was um when I was at uni um there'd be certain topics and courses and modules that I didn't really have any interest in and it was just something that I had to do it was like compulsory it was part of the course and I just struggled so much with those modules because I was just not interested in them where the modules that I was very interested in and that I was really enjoying I kind of flew through right I got through them too fast and I was like I just I want more of that so it has the feeling of like um if you're maybe you've got leo mars placements um look look at what your mars placement is maybe you've got a fire sign mars placement but um you feel like a lot of your drive a lot of your energy um to get things done you have to be enthusiastic about it if there's no enthusiasm there you're going to procrastinate so i want to say try and do the stuff that try and choose projects that you're enthusiastic about or try and complete the projects that are fun for you it's like um don't make commitments if you're not commit to things that you that you want to do right don't commit to things that you've you you know you don't feel like doing and then it's easier to fulfill those commitments because you want to do it something like that but make good on your promises in may um because it has that feeling of like when you've taken an idea and you've run with it, you've really impressed people. Um, you've, um, it's like because of your enthusiasm, right? It's because of your uh, excitement for it, because of your enthusiasm for it, because you've really thrown yourself in at the deep end on that. Um, it's like that's been seen, it's been noticed, right? Like because that enthusiasm is, is, uh intoxicated it's it's it inspires other people to get excited right it's like uh you know when people sneeze and then other people sneeze or when you yawn and then other people yawn it's like contagious it's like your enthusiasm is contagious there we go i got the word eventually so it's like it's even though you may not see the results of it just yet it's like people are talking people are noticing because you can't not notice this energy this energy is like it's like having a, a a, a little baby sunshine in the room it's like you're gonna notice right it's like it's 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 eye-catching it's it's vivacious it's just uh, you can't not notice it and that's your energy i want to say all this one's energy let me just see one two three four five five ones and this card which is also your sign so it's like it's just all fire you do have a little bit of earth here, look, page of pentacles. So right, let me just get to the spread. I just, I'm, it's, I don't know if your energy is overwhelming to people. I just feel like I'm being sucked in. Like, I feel like I just, you could be very get, eye catching in May. Like, everybody's got their eyes on you. <sighs> and then you just don't, you feel like this does lock for you. But the thing is, the, the lock's right there, right? It's like you can just, if you just get out of your own funk and look, the, the lock is the key's right there to open the lock. Like you can open that door yourself. 
And I think when you realise this, when you look up and you see that key, this is like some kind of, this is like, the Ace of Wands here is like that inspired idea coming in. This thing that Spirit's been protecting for you is like, when you're quiet, and maybe that's what it, maybe that's what it is. It's like you have to be quiet for a minute. You have to just be quiet and just listen to your own thoughts, listen to your spirit guides, st sit still and let it come in. Because when it comes in, it's like this, it's like a rocket. It's like a firework. It's like this light bulb moment of inspiration and passion and enthusiasm and, and drive and get up and go. It's like going from naught to 60s, what, how it feels. Because it's like you go from like sat there sulking to, oh my God, I'm on my feet. I want to do this. So, in your emotions, you've got awakening. There's something going on with these two cards where somebody else having an awakening is having an emotional impact on you. Somebody else is having, they're entering a new cycle. Um, maybe this person's had some kind of makeover. Maybe this person's having a second wind in life. It's like, the awakening is um, is being reinflated. It feels like being reinflated. So this person who's they may be literally having an awakening. It's the judgment card in the normal tarot. So this person is having this awakening, right? They're having this revival. Uh, you're it's having an emotional impact on you because it's in your emotions. So it's almost like seeing a friend get a promotion or something like that. It's like you're really happy for them, but you feel left behind. But it's like there's something about this person. There's something about this person having this fresh start or this revival or this heart opening moment. That's it's like it's projecting to you. Can you see this? It's like it's projecting out of their heart and you're receiving it, but you're receiving it mentally. So I want to say, because this is coming in as being very inspired, I want to say this, someone's having it, ha going through something that's really inspiring. You're, you're really feeling it. It's like em empathetic, but it's coming through and it's kind of waking your brain up. It's like making you feel lit up. It's making you feel inspired. It's making you feel uh, full of ideas and creativity. It, it's got this... There's a connection there. Do you know, like I was saying, it's like this connection between these two people. It's like if it's happening for them, it's happening for you in some sort of way. But it happens for you. It's like it happens for them first and then you feel a little bit left behind, but just for a moment. And then it's like it lights you up inside in some sort of way. And then it's like it's almost like if that person does well, I'm I'm doing well by proxy. It's like if that person's succeeding you know, this spotlight also shines on me because then you feel you're thinking about success, your own success. You're thinking about where people cheer you on. You're thinking about where you have the spotlight on you, which is inspiring you to take some kind of action on some kind of inspired thought as the magician, as somebody who's manifesting. Thank God. <laughs> so as that kind of noisy truck was just kind of doing its thing, I was just looking at the underlying because you've got this betrayal. So this feeling of being betrayed or backstabbed, which I think is what we're starting with. Um, or some kind of ending, like painful ending. Maybe you didn't get some kind of job promotion that you wanted. Um, it's almost like when one door closes, another door opens is how this reading feels. Because you then go from this feeling of like missing out, you like missing out on options. I feel like you feel like somebody's not taking an offer. Like you're making an offer. You're maybe, you know, maybe it's like CV. You put your CV in, you've made an offer of yourself. Like I want to be off service here and it's like the offer's not been accepted but then it's like suddenly it's like you think there's nothing you think it's like you think it's a closed door in some sort of way right you think that offer's off the table but then all of a sudden all this energy can you see the color of it all it's like all this energy rushes in it's like all this communication happens all this action happens and then there's something here about you being like recognized almost globally because look you've got the world here and the world here it's like you people are watching you right people are seeing you around the world in some sort of way it's like or it could be on the internet right like it's like you are being noticed you are being observed i want to say by a lot of people like globally or on the internet right and then it's like you 
and then it's like this inspired energy it's like you're inspiring others right you're creating you're creating competition it's you have this again i was talking about dominoes it's like this domino effect of like one person goes first right one person has this awakening it's inspiring to you and then you inspire others it's like got this knock-on effect of inspiration um so here where you're thinking about success you're thinking about your own success you're thinking about your own wins maybe that's what it is you're thinking about your wins you're not thinking about your losses you're thinking why did why was that a win for me and why was that successful and then emotionally here you you you're doing some planning like you're feeling like it has a little bit of going back to the drawing board or um feeling you don't feel fully capable you don't feel like the king of pentacles you feel like a page so you do feel like you need to learn more study more um prepare more so you are feeling a little, a little bit unsure in terms of your practical skills here but i want to say your driving ambition is really pushing you through um, there's definitely some kind of collaboration happening at the end of the month where again you're thinking <laughs> what am I trying to say here there's these two right there's two people here there's this 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 figure here coming through as the queen of wands doesn't have to be female but there's this person and then there's you right and I want to say because this is your card this you're coming through as the page of wands so even though you're this mighty lion right you're this Leo energy um, you are coming, you're actually showing as slightly not inferior maybe you feel a bit inferior um this queen of wands is coming through with a senior energy in some sort of way and this is in your emotions so it could be the sort of person who although you're very attractive you're very charismatic you're you're leo right like you've got the charm it's someone coming in who's more charming than you or they're so charming and so beautiful and so vi vivacious. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lover, right? It could just be someone who's very, very confident, very uh, creative. She's kind of like playing music here. Uh, very, uh, you know, like they command a room, they light up a room, they're very vivacious. You know, they really get people's attention. It's like, even though you're normally the brightest star in the room, it's like this person walks in and they you feel dwarfed in some sort of way but you don't feel it's not feeling negative it's actually feeling um companionable it's actually feeling like there's teamwork here because i want to say that you're learning from this person so it's it's because the pages are normally learning right and the page of wands would do well to learn from the queen of wands because the queen of wands is more experienced so this person has more experience maybe some more creative experience this person's um they've got something to teach you right but you're coming through as um because there's a benefit to being a page as well because the page is new ideas right they're uh they're out, out of the box thinking, right? It's like these are fresh new ideas. So this person, although they're coming through as very experienced, very um, established, very, uh, they're coming through with a, an, an amount of recognition and fame. It's like they're well thought of, right? It's like, uh, it's for example, something like, um, let me think of two people to compare. It's like if you were a musician and you were doing quite well, and then Beyonce walks into the room, right? And it's like, oh my goodness. And then, but Beyonce is not, she's not coming in as kind of like stealing your spotlight. That's not what she's doing here because it's got the strength card, which is this like making each other feel confident energy. No, perfect example, absolutely perfect example um, is a, a Biz Rap, Biz Rap, um, and Shakira. So if you know Shakira's kind of revenge song, do, 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 do. I don't, I'm singing it badly. Um, it's, it's, uh, these are about being like new to the music industry, making a name for himself, kind of like, uh, you know, starting to, people are starting to kind of cotton on to what he's doing. He'd had that like one bango with Quevedo. Um, it's like he's new on the scene, right? He's a hot new thing that everyone wants to work with. And it's like Shakira shows up and this is Shakira, right? She's established. Everybody knows who Shakira is. Well, a lot of people do. She's a household name, right? She's beautiful. She's creative. She's like, she walks on the stage. Everybody's got eyes on her, you know? 
Super Bowl with J Lo. I don't know who you were looking at. I was looking at Shakira. I was like, wow, that she, that's a banging performance, right? And that's against another I'm absolute diva, another legend, right? I shouldn't compare women and just my own experience of that performance. So it's that kind of thing. It's like, oh my God, everyone's eyes are on this person. They're doing, they, this is a household name. And I am this tiny new, like, yeah, I'm doing quite well for myself, but I'm new. But the thing is when they collaborated, it was like this fresh thing, right? It was like, Shakira had this, She, you know, it was like a number one for them both. Like, uh, you know, Shakira did well to collaborate with him and like, you know, his musical style. Um, and, you know, obviously he was, must have been buzzing to work with someone like Shakira so it's like it's it's worked for them them both right it's like it they helped each other out here it worked so there's something like that happening so don't let yourself feel dwarfed by this energy I don't think you will I think it'll I don't think it'll be like oh my god Shakira's here this is the end for me I think this is going to be like this person wants to work with me and I can't believe it. I'm so inspired. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this. It just feels like I can't believe this. Like, I like this is so good. It's like, it's all good. Like, you're only seeing the good. You're really excited. Um, and it's like your brain's on, on fire in a good way, right? It's like you've got so many ideas. It's so creative. It's just this... 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 <sighs> This, it's like this, right? It's like this moment of like, this feels so good. This, this feels so good. And again, like, look at the leg up card. It's like, they're coming in because, right? Be they're coming in to you because you, because they see something in you, right? Because you're, because... <sighs> Because you're well thought of, right? Because you're being recognised for your achievements, for your contribution, for what you've done so far. These, this new opportunity is opening up for this person to say, you know, compliments from an admirer. I've seen what you're doing. I've seen your work. I want to come in and support you. I want to help you. I want to work with you. I want to collaborate with you. And then a chain of events that will affect your life. So there's something really, really good. Leo, don't miss out on this. Don't chicken out, right? Find the enthusiasm and just lean into that because this is so, so good. Like, don't, like, this energy is what you want to avoid. You don't want to miss out on an opportunity. It's like, just go for it. Just go for it, right? And it's like, you're the, the magic's in your hands. It really is. This is why, this is why they want to work with you because it's, it's, it's like spirits got your back. You're getting all these creative drops. It, like, it just, oh, it's really exciting. I want to be a Leo. I think the devil and the death card are your own fears of the times when it didn't work out in the past, right? Um, so it's like this really good opportunity coming for you. And like waterfall, it feel, it really feels like, I mean, this isn't a drop in the ocean. This isn't a drop in the ocean. It's The waterfall is, is, is a significant contribution. So um, I don't know, you just feel... Like, you feel like you're on a roll. Like, you feel like you're... Like, if you feel like life has been like this, like you've been missing out on opportunities, it's it's not for long. It's like you've got to lift your head up, though, right? You've got to see them. If, you, if you're sulking, you're not going to see it. If somebody, somebody compliments you on your work, compliment them back. You know, if, like, if, like... You know, you, someone like Shakira is like, hey, I've seen what you're doing. I think it's really cool. Be like, hey, I love your work. Like, want to collaborate sometime? Like, go for it. <laughs> well, Leah's like waiting for that DM from Shakira now. So this is Angels Among Us and Goddesses Among Us. Um, this is going to be either... Um, basically just take it as a, a an energy so an energy that you can embody this month uh, that's going to really work for you uh, an energy that other people may be showing up in around you to help you this month it's almost like the angels are working through other people right so uh, watch out for these people maybe they remind you of somebody maybe maybe they don't it could also be like spirit guides you have absolutely have like spirit on your side here with the crow card uh, it might be like spirit guides for you people who've passed over uh, just take it as it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. And don't worry too much about the deity or whatever on the card. Uh, just more the the energy that this thing's embodying. What do we have for Leos, please? I'm well excited for you. <laughs> um, 
uh, St. Joan of Arc, courage, fearlessness and activism. Like, absolutely. You're feeling really confident. I mean, this is your energy. This is your action space. This is you showing up confidently uh, at the end of May. It's like showing up in your full, like, the you know, you, you've... You know that feeling of, like, when you... When you admire somebody, in whatever setting, right, it could be a teacher, it could be just somebody that you fancy, you know, it could be the girl in the shop and she, you know, you just, you think she's really cute and she compliments you. I don't know why you're coming through as a guy. I think it's because of, like, the male lion. Flip it and reverse it, whatever. Like, the guy in the shop, the girl in the shop, I don't know what your sexuality is and stuff like that but uh you know it's like that person that you've got a crush on fancies you like you know they they compliment you and you're like ah <laughs> and you're like you're just buzzing um the priestess the journey the initiation the blessing and activism you've got act oh activation you've got active maybe it's something to do with activism activision activision you know the game development company i think they've been in the news this week are they the ones um they, there's something there's something going on i know that microsoft has been trying to um merge with another company i don't know if it is activision Activ activision am i saying that right i don't know it could be something um okay <laughs> just getting really distracted something about your energy i don't know if you're making me flustered maybe you're making me feel flustered And it doesn't have to be an attractive person either. It's like, for, if I, for example, I, I really love Mary Beard, who's um, a, a historian. She's a university professor um, and she's done a lot of documentaries and things for the BBC. And I just think she's amazing. I think she has that kind of like earth goddess, kind of Athena energy. She's like so full of knowledge and she's I just think she's an absolutely gorgeous woman um, and really inspiring and I kind of... Um, you know, I studied classics at uni and I just, I, I you know, she was a hero to me. Um, and um, I tweeted to her a few times and she's responded or she's liked my tweets and I absolutely fangirl. I'm like, oh my God, Mary, Mary Beard acknowledged me, send my notice me, you know, and it, it, it makes you buzz, right? So, um, like, I don't know, it could be anything. Just someone you really admire, admiring you back and it's, you just feel like, you know, you, your ego inflates and, but it has like, I love, and it, I love a Leo with an inflated ego, like a sad Leo, <laughs> sad Leos make me sad, like, because Leos do get really down in the dumps sometimes and it's, I know Leos light up the room, right, it's like if a Leo's having a good day, everybody's having a good day, like, they just, they are like, you know, the sunshine in the workplace kind of thing. Uh, I've had like Leo bosses and stuff like this as well. And, um, you know, it's like a puppy, you know, like think of like a puppy. If a puppy's sad, it makes you sad. Um, and if a puppy's really excited and they're having fun and they're all enthusiastic and silly, <laughs> like that big energy, like it, it makes you happy. So your energy really does have an impact on other people. I don't want to kind of put that burden on your shoulders. You are allowed to be sad. Um, but it's something to do with like i love to see i love to see a leo get that confidence boost and absolutely just i don't know why i'm getting Cap capricorn energy as well like when capricorn gets a compliment and like you know they're just buzzing like it makes me smile it makes me happy uh the priestess um you are the priestess you have stepped onto the path and walked with the goddess you have asked for her help and support and she has blessed your life in numerous ways she has challenged you to help you grow and know yourself she has made the path difficult so you could break through the barriers of your own mind heart and belief something something's trying to push through something's trying to push through i'm not sure what it is she has made the path easy so you could rest. She has helped you see yourself with love, to see the divine within you. She has helped you to see that she is you and that you are her. She has held your hand through it all and now she offers you this initiation that marks this place, this moment. Wait, something's going through. Stuff's pushing in with your reading quite a lot. What, is, what was that? And through it all, she offers you protection, a lot of love and affection. It's Angels by Robbie Williams. She offers you this initiation that marks this place. I think you've got someone 
working for you in spirit. I think you've got an angel. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Leos. Um, you can never go back to who you were before, but your future as a priestess of the goddess is as bright as you can imagine. You are held and safe and claimed by the goddess and all her blessings are now available to you. You have been initiated into the priestess path. Open up all the blessings, power and protection available to you now. I told you spirit had your back. This is so beautiful. Like, like right? It's like, like... You yeah, that card. I love it. Okay, hang on. Oh my god, this is like the completion card of this deck. It doesn't even have... It doesn't even have... So what you normally get with these cards is you get a call on the energy for assistance with and embody the energy. And it hasn't got call on. It's like you are the priestess, right? It's like you don't have to call on this energy. It is you, right? And recognising that in yourself. Become the priestess by recognising your own power, connecting with devotional practices, seeing yourself as an aspect of the goddess, initiating yourself, owning and accepting all parts of you and remembering your own divinity. That is so gorgeous. That is such a gorgeous reading, Leo. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Again, I know that you sometimes have these struggles. We all do, right? And um, like I say, I, I'm, I root for Leos. I really, really do. Um, you f you f you feel things like such a such a big heart. Leos have such a big heart. Um, you know, it's like lion heart, right? King's heart, um, and you know, you you are the leader of your own little kingdom, whether you realise it or not. You know, the impact that that you have on the people around you, and so to see. To see the king getting his crown back again. And I'm saying king, king or queen, right? Um like it's in and it is inspiring. It is inspiring. You know, like I don't know. I'm gonna move on, but that's that's such a beautiful reading. I really, really love it for you. I'm actually I really want to listen to that Jeff Buckley song and not skip it. So I'm gonna to listen to that now and then I'm gonna tidy up the cards and randomize you another song on camera before I go. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, Leah's I've got it out of my system. So um I just kept these cards out because I just think it's so beautiful. The priestess feels like someone else. Um, but you are realizing that it's like you have that that it's like you've been giving your power away to someone else in some sort of way uh, where you've been thinking that this person has... You, it's like you've been seeing them as the priestess when now you're recognising that the power to manifest is in your hands. It's like this this person has given you their power, like they're sharing the power with you or you are them and they are you. So any qualities that you project onto this person you also have and you're recognising that and working with that as well. It's It's like... You're both tapping into the same potential here in some sort of way. I, it's, it's really beautiful. It's really very beautiful. Um, I want to get you a song on camera. So anything else for Leo? What does spirit have for Leo? What else do you want to say? Summer Nights by Tiesto and John Legend. I see you in my head. You ain't like the rest. You ain't bringing me down, baby. You're right next to me. We're busy making history. The sun's about to go down. I want to be wherever you are. Impossible to take it too far. Summer nights getting high like the first time. You and I make it last forever. Oh yeah, make it last forever. I see you in my bed getting undressed. It's about to go down, baby. <laughs> it wasn't just a dream. I guess it's meant to be. I don't. It's a heart reading. I love it for you. Take care, Leos. Uh, do watch out for people stroking your ego for their own benefit. Um, you know, take compliments as they come, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Uh, just because someone compliments you doesn't mean they have an ulterior motive as well. They might just be complimenting you. So, uh, don't overthink it. Take it at face value. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love you, Leo. So I'm gonna stroke your ego and tell you how awesome you are whenever you like. Um, and uh, I will see you again soon. Bye, friends.